Hey everybody, Alex Backlin is here, doing a video for harmonica.com, and today's topic is Top Chromatic Harmonica Players. It's coming up next. Stevie Wonder. A child prodigy, Wonder is considered to be one of the most successful musical performers of the late 20th century. He has recorded more than 30 US top 10 hits and received 25 Grammy Awards, one of the most awarded male solo artists, and has sold over 100 million records worldwide, making him one of the top 60 best-selling music artists. He is also known for his distinctive style of harmonica playing, funky rhythm feel, crying like bands, and a beautiful vibrato. Stevie endorses Huang harmonicas, and he plays a custom-built chromatic designed by Chamber Huang himself. The harmonica is micro-adjusted to the slightest Stevie's whims. You can hear Stevie Wonder's harmonica in songs like I was made to love her, for once in my life, isn't she lovely, as if you read my mind, we can work it out, I feel you by Chaka Khan, there must be an angel by you Rhythmix and Brand New Day by Sting. Toots Tillemans. Born in Belgium, Toots Tillemans is one of the most legendary harmonica players. He introduced the chromatic harmonica to the world as a jazz instrument. Toots shared the bandstand with Charlie Parker, Benny Goodman, Oscar Peterson, Miles Davis, and was in great demand on pop records, including many dates with Quincy Jones. He's heard on numerous movie soundtracks, including Breakfast at Tiffany's and Midnight Cowboy, and also on the opening theme of television's Sesame Street. Interesting fact that in 1959, when Beatles were yet unknown, John Lennon noticed Toots playing a Rickenbacker guitar during his performance with George Shearing Quintet. Lennon was impressed and felt he had to have an American guitar, on the principle that if it was good enough for Tillemans, it's good enough for me. Larry Adler Larry Adler is an American harmonica player generally considered to be responsible for the elevation of the harmonica to concert status in the world of classical music. He taught himself harmonica, which he called a mouth organ, and played professionally since the age of 14. Larry played many roles in movies and theatre, such as Sidewalks of London, Many Happy Returns, Three Daring Daughters, Music of Millions, and others. Adler became famous in Great Britain, where due to his performances, the sales of harmonica increased by 300,000 because of members of harmonica fan clubs. Adler was one of the first harmonica players to perform major works written for the instrument by composers like George Gershwin, Gene Berger, Vaughan Williams, Cyril Scott, and many more. Brendan Power. Brendan Power is a great harmonica player, composer, and inventor from New Zealand. Recorded more than 20 albums, worked as a session musician with artists such as Sting, Kate Bush, Van Morrison, and is heard on several movie soundtracks like Atonement, Shanghai Noon, and more. But not to mention, Brandon played a significant part in the harmonica world as an inventor. He has introduced several new harmonica types, including the slide diatonic, and 
from a vendor. He also created Twin Harmonica System, a design enabling two harmonicas of any type to be linked together for enhanced musical possibilities. Here are some more chromatic harmonica players that you should know. That was Alex Backlin for Harmonica.com, hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see you next time, take care!